What's up, guys? Ice man here. Welcome to the Diablo Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Istack. So, in this video, I have a barbarian with full freaking Immortal King set equipped. All right. Now I missed something. I'm going to show you. I wasn't using my head. But that's fine. I'll try to use my head next video in this regard. But first off, let me show you the gear. Immortal King's Stone Crusher. Ogre Maul. 239 to 318 damage. Something to note about these mauls is although their maximum damage isn't all that impressive, their minimum damage certainly is. All right, They have a pretty damn high min damage. And so does the set, seeing how you give 250 to 361 magic damage, for instance, as a full set bonus. Or probably a non-full set, well, it's a partial set. Well, that's fine. So I put a couple things into this mall, uh, some of which were not needed. I put it one. <coughs> I, I put one. I put it. I put it. I, <coughs> I, I put one times fifteen is slash eight minimum damage jewel in there, and then in addition to that, I put an eth rune for negative twenty five percent to target defense. Ik gloves. Ravenfrost, or cannot be frozen, and some much-needed AR, which goes up exponentially with all my multipliers. 7,300 AR with Whirlwind without Ravenfrost, 9,300 with, so about 2,000 AR from that. IK Belt, which has some very nice bonuses in addition to the set, as partial set bonuses and full set bonuses. Two to Masteries, for instance. Physical damage reduced by 20%, which is huge. 25% faster hit recovery and a couple other things. Nagel Ring, because this is somewhat of an MF build. I'll show you why in just a minute here. This thicky, thicky hog's gonna farm the Trav and find yourself some nice gear right there. Immortal King Pillar Boots. Nice run walk on them. Half freeze duration, not so much needed now. 25% uh, magic mine, but nonetheless, they have most of this gear has some pretty nice stats on it. Now, High Lords, I don't need it for the IAS. It's just hard to pass this thing up, seeing how you get 30-plus Deadly Strike when you're a higher level. And Immortal King's Will Helmet, with two Istrunes in it, for a total of 90% magic find on the helm alone, and I also have an Istrune in the armor. As for the charms, nothing too impressive. I've, I do have a Geeds, however, a perfect one. And check this out. So three to maximum damage. That's quite a bit of damage right there, you see that? 4240 versus 4262. So it adds up. So does the AR life. And I do have an Annie charm as well as a torch. So let's see how well he does the uh, Frigid Highlands, for example. With battle orders, I have 4100 life. Level 88. Res all maxed out. I put one point into natural... Resistances, or maybe two. Nah, I put one point in there. So with gear, it's at level 12. And I get a total of resist all 58% from one point into this skill alone. So it was quite easy to hit max res. And I still have 22 skill points left over. Alright. I maxed out Whirlwind. I put one point into Berserk. I maxed out... Mace Mastery, I maxed out Battle Orders, and I could put a couple more points in a find item, I suppose. In fact, I think that's what my uh, plan was. There we are. And I will put find item um, on F2. Now, ideally, you'd want to have something on Switch for find item, but I'm just not going to do that. Like Heart Carver, for example, which gives plus four to find item. But if you have those and you switch over, you're going to lose out on your plus three to Barbarian skill levels. So it's hardly worth it. And of course, you lose a lot of defense and armor when you switch over as well. So don't do that. Just keep them all in main hand. 
Damage isn't all that great with IK set. This is player one's difficulty. Player onesies difficulty. Player ones. Player ones. Player onesies difficulty right here is what you are witnessing. From my findings in the research institution, I would not recommend playing the IK Barbarian much above at all of player one's difficulty. Now, Berserk is quite effective. Let's see. Let's see it uh, destroy that thank. Took care of thank right there. Oh my god! Look at this! Holy freaking toad! I'm going to save that thing in the stash. Uh, maybe make an infinity wielding Amazon. He'll probably enjoy that. It's even plus three to skills. Oh my god! And to my understanding, this thing attacks faster than the Matriarchal Pike or whatever that thing is. Is that what it's called? Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, for one, here's the breakpoints. So with an Ogre Maul using the skill Whirlwind, in total with gear, weapon and off-weapon gear, you need 69 IS to reach the max attack speed of 4 ticks, which equates to 6.25 attacks per second, alright? And I am well beyond that right now. I have 100% increased attack speed, because I forgot to factor in how the IK set, or the gloves at least, have an added bonus somewhere down the line, where you get 25% increased attack speed added. So I forgot to factor that in, man. So what I would do is I would remove the jewel that I have in this mall, and it'll be even cheaper in that sense, because what I'm going to replace it with is another eth rune, bringing me at a total of negative 50% target defense. So I'm going to be hitting shit a lot once I switch those things out. Alright. And that'll be quite nice. Do you lose the I... Mm. Okay, I, I might be able to uh, lose the amulet as well, but like I said, the amulet is uh, is something that uh, is hard to pass up on. I mean, I wouldn't mind wearing an Atmos for amp damage, but the problem with that is the geniuses behind D2R still haven't fixed the fact or matter that Whirlwind does not proc curses. Now, whether that or not that was intentional, I don't know. But I know that modded versions of D2, like Project Diablo, for example, you can proc curses or things on your gear from Whirlwind. And you just can't do that in a uh, classic D2 or D2R for that matter. So it's kind of unfortunate. So basically, if you're wearing Atmos Amulet, the only way to get the uh, amp damage to proc, if you're a Whirlwind Barbarian, is by not using Whirlwind. So you could berserk a bunch of shit and finally get the curse to go off, and then you could whirlwind, but that's just not going to be very practical at all. Alright, so let's see how well... Let's see how well he does the trap. And if you guys will, subscribe to the page, hit the like button. Appreciate your support. Hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to you who support the Iceman. Become a patron or a channel member. Links in the description below. And you will indeed be blessed with many wives. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Uh, some of you long time, long time homies. Uh, let me know if you guys have been playing Diablo 2. I know PD2 uh, Season 6 uh, just released recently. I did make a Javazon, didn't get very far with her. Oh my god! This sucks! Holy freaking toe! Oh my god! Is this player one? Okay, I'm gonna verify just so this is bullshit. Oh my god! Look at how hideous this is! I can't kill shit! Okay, apparently you're supposed to just berserk him. Uh, I didn't know that was the case. Oh my god! This is hideous! Okay, just berserk him, I suppose. This is bad, man! Do a little bit of fine item there. I have too much gold. And I'm going to identify that Grand Charm. 
Yeah, fine item is a nice skill. For show, for show, for show, for show, for show, for show, for show. And why isn't there a hotkey to identify this shit? Is that like one of the first things that uh, should have been included? Alright, we got a nice damage chart. Let's try that one more time. Uh, let me check and see if this is on. Yep. Players won. Alright. Here, what I'm going to do... Check this out. So my Berserk damage is 3, 4, 22 to 5,511. So let's see. Because I have these skills left over. Oh my god. That's a, a pretty nice increase. So, alright. I put a bunch of points into Berserk. I almost maxed it. Alright, let me try it one more time. Welcome back to the Spirited Journey. I am your host, Professor Ice Dick. Alright, let's try this one more time. Uh, so I'm doing a bit more Berserk damage. I mean, that really sucks how Whirlwind is, just takes forever to kill those guys. See, but Berserk is pretty impressive. Let's see what the stats are on it. Let's hold up. So nice res. One, two. I miss all the time. Oh my god! I'm gonna get my ass kicked! Holy sh Holy Oh! Okay. That's right, you don't leech with Berserk, do ya? Oh, that's a problem. Isn't it 100% of your damage converted? Let me take a look. I think it is. Uh, it all turns into elemental and magic. So you're not leeching. You know, obviously you can't leech with elemental or magic. I mean, it kicks it, it kicks his ass. It kicked- OH MY GOD! Did you see that? Alright, let's take a look, see. Yep, let's take a look right there! Let's take a look, see. Arm it. Ooh. Okay, my total magic fine. 210% better chance of getting magic items, alright? Now, as I mentioned, I have two S in the helm. I have one S in the armor. This, these could be replaced with topaz, and you won't be missing uh, missing out uh, much at all. All right, so it would be quite budget in that sense. And I do have a perfect Geats. and a perfect Nagel ring. So I wasn't trying that hard. Be a nice res ring. Oh my God! Look! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Alright, I have Cat's Eye. Holy freaking tall! I love this amulet. I uh, enjoy it on a boson. Sometimes even a Jabazon, for that matter. Great being able to run fast as a freaking toad. Ton of dex, which translates over to damage. And if you're using High Lords on a multi shot Zon, the Deadly Strike is only applicable to the center two or three arrows. Let me know in the comments below, some of you pros, all right? If you pros will comment. I just can't remember, man. I, 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 my impression was it was three. But I feel like I heard someone uh, blabble about how it's two, the center two arrows. Uh, so in which case, <clears throat> the deadly strike isn't applicable to all the other uh, arrows in the spread. Whereas if you have cat's eye, the decks goes right into your damage so every arrow then from your multi shot is affected by the decks all right do you guys have this glitch going on i noticed mine like this durance it, it, it's like uh hazy or something you see that i don't know what what's going on there but let's try this over time all right for research purposes let's try whirlwind because this is bullshit yeah whirlwind sucks man uh with uh i case anyway in fact, it really does excel now with a weapon in each hand, right? You're hitting, like, a lot more in general. Oh my god, this is hideous! You see this? This is bullshit! Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'll make a budget barbarian who whirlwinds, basically, and I'm guessing I'm going to do a better job than Oh my god! I, I, I don't even wanna! I, I just wanna hit up. I just wanna berserk up! Holy shit! It's gonna take forever! 
Okay, I, I thought it was a little better than this, especially when I put a freaking uh, men damage jewel and shit in them all. Especially when I have a couple of those mag damage things. Uh, maybe I should have put more points in the strength, but I'm still getting my ass kicked, so I gotta have all the vitality I, I can get. Man. What do you think, man? This, oh my god, how long does this take? Holy freaking toad! Like 10 out of minutes? They're like 10 out of minutes? Alright, there's the war axe. Let's identify that war axe. That poison thing. That useless piece of crap. But that's fine. Rake sky, is that what it's called? Is that rake sky or some bullshit? Yes, it is. Alright, by the time you're 27, you might as well use a freaking magic item of this bullshit. I think they could use a little bit of update here and there. A little bit of update in future patches. I'll let you know in the comments below if you gotta be down for that. Let me know in the comments below if you toads be down for that. Okay, let's do one more for the spiritual journey. For um, research purposes, we'll do one more. And I'm not gonna whirlwind. That was a complete waste of time. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Give this a shot one more time. Drump, let's drump, 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 drump. Oh, oh, it knocks it back. That's right, look at that. Okay, so now, uh, forget about Whirlwind. Oh my god, look how devastating Berserk is compared to that. Oh, and they heal each other, obviously. Oh, they, they do heal. Uh, you got you got to get them quick, because they'll heal. Now, my Life Leech isn't doing that much. Probably because my physical damage isn't all that impressive, even with Whirlwind. Uh, because a lot of how this set excels, I think, is the added magic damage. Oh my god! Don't you die! Be embarrassing, man! Be embarrassing! I stick die in the middle of a uh, research video. I suppose it'll be for research purposes. Where's a friggin' well or some shit? No well? Oh, I forgot to item find the last one, didn't I? Alright. Things are looking fine so far. Mithril. Mithril point. Yeah, I wish uh, some of these things were like useful. Uh, like maybe an epic freaking GG uh, unique mithril point or something. Because there's not even a unique one of these, is there? No, just the first two tiers. Just uh, uh, just normal and exceptional. There's no elite uh, unique of this item type. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, in that example. Obviously an Archon plate. Um, and several other things. Okay, let's go one more time, shall we? One more time for research purposes. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go berserk one more time. It's probably best to take out the little guys first. Take out the weak guys first. Then take out the big guys. There's a big guy right there. See, that's how you tell the little guys are the big guys. Uh, they're the same damn size. That's one way to put it, I guess. They are the same damn size, however, but kill the little kill the little guys first. If you can't kill that shit one or two heads, because uh, as I mentioned, they're just gonna heal. Okay. Yeah, so Berserk does I mean does a far better job. Look at that. I actually kill this this shit uh, quite effectively, I would say. Uh, it wouldn't be bad to stack up more max damage charms. And then with the skill berserk, it'll be converted over to uh, to magic damage. So let's take a look. Okay, so here it is. A powerful but reckless attack that increases damage and attack rating, but decreases defense. Yeah, whenever you use it, see that? Your defense goes to zero. So they're going to hit you. You know, they're going to hit you with their melee and physical attacks. Arrows and all that shit, too. And spikes in the porcupines. Very low mana cost. So this is level 32. Um, a powerful Rux attack that increases damage and attack, but decreases... Yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure this converts all your physical damage over to magic, but why does it not say that? I thought it used to say that. Like, you don't leech with it, right? Okay, so at level 32, attack rating plus 565%, so massive increase. Magic damage plus 825%. Okay, let's see. I mean, I'm almost positive he doesn't leech. Here, let me even zoom this shit in. 
Oh! Hold on a second. Uh, it, it showcases Leech, but he's not, he's not really leeching. Did you see his... Did you see his... Uh, did you see that bullshit right there? Okay. Now let's try it with something like Concentrate. Alright, now watch his health. Watch his health. I bet you it's going to go up a lot higher. Yep, you see that? Look at that. Look at how high the health goes up. Yeah, the health goes up significantly. Whereas with Berserk, it wasn't doing shit. Come on, let's take a little bit more damage here. Stop running away. Come on. Swat that ass. Okay, now watch this. So I'm, I, I have Berserk, right? And these are the guys I was li Look at that. It doesn't even move. It doesn't even move. That's bullshit. No, but that's just that's the trade-off impact. It's it's not BS. It's a trade-off. I just don't know why. Um, I mean, it still shows him as if he's leeching. But to my understanding, I mean, it, it doesn't seem like he's leeching at all. 362. 360. Watch this. I'm going to hit him. Let's see. Let's come on. Hit the damn thing. Still at 362. You see that? So he's not leeching at all. Uh, so you got to keep that in mind, man. All right. He's not leeching at all with uh, Berserk. Look at that. Still 362. Uh, not leeching at all, but it, it still shows the little things. Did it do that before? Did it? Oh my god! Stop running away! God damn! Okay, it still shows it. Yeah, it still shows the thing. Alright, but nonetheless, appreciate you guys for watching the video. Um, this Barbarian sucks. You know, there's no ifs, ands, or buts around it. But, I'm going to try to make a, uh, a budget Whirlwind Barbarian, who's probably even cheaper than this one, that uh, has Magic Find... And the difference, the major difference would be, well, for one, he's not wearing an IK set. Or maybe he will, for that matter. I'll just switch out the weapon, because he still gets some pretty nice mods. Uh, which are quite budget still, I would say. Uh, except for the armor. Uh, but even with that, nobody, no one uses this shit. So, and I'll have a weapon in each hand, like Lawbringer, or maybe not Lawbringer for Whirlwind, seeing how you can't proc the Decrepify, which is probably its biggest selling point. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll figure out, you know, uh, two... Uh, Two little weapons in each hand, and we'll see how well that does with Whirlwind, right? Like the video, if you will, subscribe to the page. Talk to you guys later. Peace be with you.